Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tad bit different and I'm hoping you all enjoy watching it. Welcome to a day in my work life. I usually wake up every day at around 6 or 6.30 am. I get cracking as soon as I'm up. I have a new morning rule of not using my phone at all. I directly check my phone when I'm on my way to work. I do the usual, make my bed, oil pulling, then brush, work out, shower, make some tea and breakfast and get a little bit of studying done before I leave for work. When I'm on route work and walking to the tube station is the time I call Dean and check my WhatsApp messages, Instagram, etc. It's a 15 minutes walk to the tube station and it's the right amount of time to catch up with the rest of the world. I particularly chose a Thursday to film this video as Thursdays are a little bit relaxed. I have the morning to catch up on jobs at work and the afternoon to see patients with my consultant. Once I'm on the train, I get a little bit more of studying done. I have roughly 35 minutes of travel time and it's perfect. So even before I have reached work, I have had one and a half hours of reading out of the way. Today I'm the doctor on call on site. I reached 10 minutes early to take the handover. Hi, I'm the day on call doctor calling. Yeah, um, I'm downstairs to take the handover if you're ready. Okay, all right, see ya. So the site I'm currently working on has three different wards, two mixed adult inpatient and one old age ward. So in case of any medical emergency or to detain a patient under mental health act, that is to section a patient they call the on-call doctor, which would be me today. 9 to 9.30 a.m. I catch up on all the work emails, make a list of jobs I will need to do today and basically have an idea of what's happened overnight with the patients since I last saw them. 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. or approximately around 11 a.m. we have our morning MDT handover. We have the consultant, ward doctors, that would be me, nurses, Occupational therapist, pharmacist, psychologist, discharge coordinator, activity coordinator, ward manager, ward clerk in there. We discuss in detail what's happened the entire day and overnight with each patient and a plan is made for the day. As my consultant is today a little bit busy with his meetings in the morning, I got cracking to wrap up the jobs to do. Got a few bloods out of the way. They were mostly bloods to monitor lithium levels, clozapine monitoring, and a patient needed some routine bloods. In between that, I got a call from another ward to review a patient. To maintain patient's confidentiality, I'm going to change a few details while mentioning the patients here. So the patient number one for whom I received a call is a 25-year-old female with diagnosis of depression with few EOPD traits and had attempted to self-harm by trying shoelace around her neck. I made sure she was physically fine and decided she could be managed on ward and didn't need to be sent to A&E. I always make it a point to discuss it with the ward consultant once I've assessed the patient. Oh, by the way, guys, it's been a task finding empty hallways to film this video, so I think I need some credit for that. I then got back to doing the discharge summary of a patient. We are mostly a paperless trust, so all patient notes are on the system. In between that, I got another call to check on a patient who had a fall. I got back and completed the discharge summary after assessing the patient. Then got a few ACGs out of the way that were pending for new admissions. At around 1pm, I took a break and I had some lunch. It was mostly leftovers from previous night, my favourite kind of meal. From 2pm to around 5pm, we had board reviews. So that means it would be me, my consultant, seeing a few patients over the next 3 hours. Usually, we have the nurse in charge, sometimes the psychologist joins in, the care coordinator and the social worker join via Microsoft Teams these days. At around 5, I hand over to the evening on-call doctor and make my way home. <laughs> This is the time I call mom and my sister when I'm en route home. I take a shower once I've reached home, cook some dinner and watch a little bit of telly. It's, it's... If I'm not exhausted, then I get a little bit more of studying done from 9pm to 10pm. I then brush my teeth and get my nighttime skincare routine done before getting into bed at around 10.30pm. I like reading a novel before going off to sleep and completely avoid checking my phone once I'm in bed. I'm gonna go off to bed now. I hope you've enjoyed a day in my life. I tried to put in as much as I could. I'm sorry if I didn't have a lot more footage from the hospital because I think I was quite shy and I just felt like, you know, I was crossing a line or two by filming a lot at work. So I tried to put in as much as I could and that's why I've put in a lot of voiceovers. I hope you enjoyed a day in my life. If you enjoy these kind of videos, then please do let me know. Yeah, so this is the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, then do give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do subscribe to my channel. I think I'm going to 
read a couple of more pages and then sleep off because today's a Thursday. I have to go to work tomorrow. It's a Friday. I can't wait for the weekend because it's just around the corner. But anyway, this is the end of the video. I hope you're looking after yourself and all your loved ones. Take care and bye. See ya. See you in the next one. Good night. Oh wait, let me just switch off the light. Good night, guys.